A great transition is inevitable as they move from the interior to the Bering Sea coast. Because the coast is always full of weather. So as we were finding out right now, it's starting to blow here. It's probably blowing even harder out there. The journey continues on the Yukon River. They pass Nulato and head on to the 13th checkpoint. Brent Sass is first, winning the first to Caltag Award. On behalf of Bristol Bay Native Corporation, we'd like to award you with the Fish First Award. Awesome. Um, in commemoration of you being first into Caltag. Perfect. So congratulations. That's awesome. Thank and you so much. We wish you all so the much. best as you make it to Nome. Yes, thank you so much thank for the welcome. support of the race. This yes. is awesome. He stays there for his mandatory eight hours of rest. You know, as we get to the coast, you're faced with a lot more weather, potentially, because the coast is always full of weather. So as we we're finding out right now, it's starting to blow here. It's probably blowing even harder out there. Um, after this eight, I'm not gonna probably go very far. I mean, I'll go maybe halfway and and uh, and do a camp there, and then uh, and then go into Unicleet. But um, yeah, the weather doesn't really. That's mainly just to make sure we take care of the dogs. All right, Slater, let's go. Yep, yep, yep. Brent Sass remains a ghost on the trail. He heads out of Keltag before Dallas CV arrives. I'm going on through. Do you want food and hay? Uh, I will get some food, yes. Jesse Holmes is third into Keltag. I'm staying. Yesterday, Holmes had the fastest run into Galena. It's one of the fastest times ever. No, it is. Ruby to Galena. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Really? 5.20? Uh, That's amazing. I think I'm going to go a little bit slower. About nine. Yeah. About nine. Because, I, I mean, shoot, no, but nobody around me on a good trail is doing that, so why should I? No, no, save them. Yeah, save if Brent's going seven, all I got to do is go eight and a half. Yep. And I catch him by Shaq Tulik, maybe. I don't know. I don't even care about what yeah. anybody else. Don't, I just don't want worry to, about that. But, but yeah, you know, but it's hard to not think like a racer. Yeah, you know? yeah. With 85 miles to go, they take on the longest leg of the race from Caltag to Unalakli. This marks the major transition from the interior river environment out to the windy Bering Sea coast. 